Aloha, top of the morning, friends and family. We're here today with Earl Jones out here in Texas. If you saw a little teaser on that previous video last week, we are going to be doing a video today on how to properly handle venomous reptiles. Earl's the expert here. I'm just facilitating the video. Uh, I would say there's a caveat, like there's there's a couple different ways to look at it, right? Like it's one of the proper ways to handle venomous reptiles, for me, is to not. Well, the, the first thing is, I mean, unless you really need to be handling them, you shouldn't. Uh, there, there's no reason to grab uh, any venomous snakes. Uh, I see people grabbing them by the head. There's no reason to touch the head of a venomous snake uh, unless you're in a lab actually fixing to milk that snake. There's anything other than that, there's no reason to. Uh, we don't do anything with uh, venomous animals without hooks or tongs where we don't freehand anything like that. Uh, it's just not necessary and there's no reason to take a risk. Yeah, and then, and then there's, um, I mean, some people maybe commune with the animals in a different way and that you know, they take their own personal risks to hold them in a certain way. And this video isn't necessarily to say that different people don't have their own way that they think is proper, but we're going to show, I guess, the the safest way. For, for me, my point was that I'm not even going to touch them at all. That's the safest <laughs> thing for me because I don't need to. You need to touch them so you can clean the enclosures. You need to work with them so that you can right. get, the, get them out. So basically, i um, just going to show how to do that. So can, can you, like, walk through just like verbally like uh, your process of doing that so here we we keep mainly rattlesnakes and you know rattlesnakes are fairly predictable uh but when we go to clean cages uh we unlock the cages we open the doors with hooks reach in grab the snake with hooks uh there's a couple that you can't use hooks on there you know you got to use tongs uh then we take it out put it in a lock box secure it and then we go in and clean the cage uh, we never reach in a cage while the animals are in the cage. Uh, that's a sure sign of disaster. Feeding, we go from the side and come in f with tongs to feed. We don't put our hands in there to feed. We never reach in that cage for any any reason at all. This is probably a dumb question, but that's what I'm here for, just to ask the dumb questions. Why would you never want to reach your hand inside the cage? Uh, the snakes are a whole lot faster than we are. You know, and If you're within the strike zone, you, you just got bit. I get a question all the time, what's the, the deadliest, you know, venomous snake in the world, the one you just got bit by? So what's your process? So you get the snake out, you've got it in the lockbox, you clean the enclosure. What's your process for getting the snake back in? So it's basically the same thing, just in reverse. You know, you unlock the box, uh, reach in slowly, no sudden movements, hook them, pull them out, and put them right back in the cage. Usually we just get their head going in and they'll just go right on in their cage. They don't want to be messed with, so they just want to get back in and, and chill. Uh, these animals are, I mean, most everybody, you know, watching this has snakes of some kind, and they all watch what we're doing. They're, they're super smart. Uh, but venomous snakes are really smart, and they're really fast. Uh, if you've ever seen how fast a uh, ball python strikes, it's probably about three times faster. Now, when it comes to... Uh the, now I know your beaded or your your Gila monster is super tame and mild, but what, what's your uh, what's your general protocol for for handling him? If you're asking me advice, I'm going to tell you always wear gloves. Never handle by yourself. Anytime you're working with venomous, always have somebody standing by. It's not for the help, but if something does go wrong, you got to have somebody to call 911. Uh, when handling the beaded Gila monsters. Uh, always wear gloves. If they don't see a hot spot, typically they're not going to bite. I've got one that's super, super chill. I take him out and play with him almost daily. And that's pretty common if you handle them a lot. Uh, I have had people that say, you know, well, mine's never tried to bite me. I, you know, I've tried to handle it without the gloves and I got bit. And that's typically what happens. You know, this little guy, he's 10 years old and, and I've handled him from day one. He's just an amazing animal. Awesome. Well, hey, Earl, since we're here in your ball python room right now, I feel like maybe we should give these folks a little bonus and show them, like, one of your one of your most awesome ball pythons. What do you say? Well, let's go for the one that there's only a couple of them in the, in the U.S. So this is a lavender puzzle, and there was two of them produced in the U.S. Uh, one two years ago and this one last year. And I was fortunate enough to be able to 
purchase these. Corey Woods has a few of them over in Canada. That's the only other ones there are right now. And these are both just just lavender uh, puzzles, no pastels, no nothing else. This is the male. He's just about ready to get started, but these things are amazing. So we've already got this going into quads right now. And then we'll show one of my favorites that I produce. I love what Mahogany does in Clown and Banana just I mean just blew this thing up. It was insane. This little guy has been doing some work this year. We're actually putting this into Mojave Clown to try to get rid of the, the speckling and pull more oranges into it. Alright folks, Earl, thank you for always your hospitality man. Um, if you guys want to see more of what these guys do over here at Lone Star Reptiles, click this thing right here. You can check out their channel and watch this video right here about how we got here and uh, if you have any comments to leave below about anything at all leave them down there and uh, we'll appreciate it thank you guys for watching take care of yourselves take care of each other and we'll see you in the next video aloha